That's a good tee shot there down the far side. Yeah, you can see the difference there in the amount of roll down the far side, that's for sure. Our swing guru Peter Costas took an earlier swing view of Zach Johnson. Zach Johnson's consistent ball striking, in my opinion, comes from the rotary use of his body. Let's use the Konica Minolta BizHub swing vision camera to explain what I mean. As Zach takes the club back, he gets his lower body finishing while he's still only about three quarters of the way back with his upper body swing. Now what happens? The upper body is going to continue turning and the club is going to get set at the top while the lower body starts to unwind. Take note. The club is going to go set, the lower body starts to clear, he pushes off the right foot, starts to clear the hips. Now he has himself in a tremendous position to deliver the club to the ball, and he does it by continuing to push up off the left leg, drive through with the right leg, and keep the torso rotating. And please take note of just how much rotation he has with his body. That extension, the hands three quarters of the way into the follow through still in front of his chest. That is impeccable body rotation by Zach Johnson. Now we'll take a look at the downswing off of his tee shot at 11 and you're going to see the same kind of lower body rotation and when you can rotate the body as well as Zach does and you play in windy conditions like we have this week, it's important to keep the big muscles moving. Under windy conditions, the, the small muscles tend to speed up and the big muscles tend to freeze, but not with Zach's swing. 